What is music theory? Music theory is the study of the symbolic representation and the physical interpretation of music. What do we mean by the symbolic representation of music? This mostly has to do with reading and writing music. This, of course, is dependent on the culture that you live in. Fortunately for us, the Western world has largely standardized music notation. However, another common music notation is guitar tablature, or tabs. I do plan on making a series on guitar, and it is there that I will address reading and writing tabs. Here, we will concern ourselves with Western music notation. The physical interpretation of music has to do with what makes good music. Why do certain frequencies sound good together? What makes a particular song popular? Another way to understand what music theory is, is to see it as a language in which the production of music is communicated among musical colleagues. This could be a band member communicating with the rest of his band, or a composer communicating the song in his mind to an orchestra. The language by which people communicate their musical ideas is music theory. Why study music theory? There are two primary reasons people choose to study music theory. The first is to understand the inner workings of music. This person probably has more in common with scientists and explorers than the great musicians of each musical era. He wishes to understand how and why music works, and he could use his discoveries to create original masterpieces to take the next step of musical evolution. The second is to communicate with others about the production of music. This person intends to use the language of music theory to communicate effectively with others in a band or as a songwriter. Also, he will be able to learn from previous musicians about the production of music and analyze musical works to further understand the inner workings of music. As you are sure to have noticed, an aspiring musician would need both reasons to reach their goals. An understanding of the inner workings of music will give a musician a greater strength of innovativeness, while an ability to communicate with others will give a musician a greater access to musical ability. We could use an analogy to more clearly see the relationship between musicianship and music theory. We have already compared music theory to a language, so let us take it as our analogy. It is not necessary to study a language to speak it or enjoy it. In fact, we all learned our first language not by explicit study, but by an experiential methodology. In musical terminology, we learned our first language by ear, without regard to a formal, systematic approach. Likewise, we do not need to study music theory to play music or enjoy it. A great many musicians learn to play instruments by ear rather than by explicit study. However, we can easily see the advantages of studying language. Most of us learned language in primary school. We learned about parts of speech nouns, verbs, adjectives, etc. This helped us in two ways. First, it helped us to construct and deconstruct language quickly and effectively. Secondly, it helped to construct and deconstruct complex thoughts for communication with others. Likewise, music theory helps people to construct and deconstruct music quickly and effectively which helps them to write and play complex musical pieces. So what can we conclude about the study of music theory? Music theory is not necessary to produce music, even good music. Learning music theory is not for everyone, not even for all musicians. And yet, we have seen a lot of advantages of learning about music theory. Music theory will open new doors of musical exploration and musical ability. Music theory is for those that want to grow in their understanding of musical possibilities by studying musical works to create original musical pieces that break the boundaries of traditional sound and structure. 
Music theory is for those that want to grow in their music ability by learning from previous musicians and cooperating with band members to push themselves beyond mediocrity.